how would you define this in a di digital world, you know, doing something like this where you can't be in person, you know, how do you find that ener that energy is going to translate? Funny story is that as I was coaching and I was coaching uh, a little group, I got a message in my head is like, do a meditation. And I was talking to my head, like, I never took meditation classes. What, how would I do a meditation? And I heard, do a meditation. And I said, okay, whatever. So I said to the people, you close your eyes and we'll do a meditation. And after the five, 10 minutes, whatever I did, people said, I felt that down my spine and I felt that and, and people started to shift. And I say, okay, cool. This meditation thing works. Next day, I have a uh, because uh, I have clients all over the world, right? So I had a client in Russia, and I heard the uh, again in my head do a meditation, and I was saying to the voice in my head, "So you're going to tell me that my energy is going to go all the way to Russia, is going to somehow magically affect this person, and it's going to come back to me? Would you know it? It it works. It." I cannot explain it philosophically. I can explain it, but as an engineer, I cannot really explain it, how the energy travels, but uh, it works. I have had clients in New Zealand, Australia, Russia, Belgium, like everywhere, like some people I have never met. And when, so I do those calls because I have, uh, I have the Entrepreneur Enlightenment Academy where people work with me for one year. So they have like uh, every month they have two calls. So I do this with a group. And when I get into the group, people have questions, but I say, I'm feeling that. And somebody in the group sure enough has that, whatever I'm feeling. So I'm making a bit of fun of myself, but that's the best way I can explain it. 